reason except for like you know uh, racism probably and then you know hyper morality like china doesn't have democracy so like their loans are debt traps they they don't kill uh, they don't kill black people like uh, democracies in America, but I mean their loans are debt traps. Really, really. Take out a loan from a bank, pay the bank the loan back, or the bank is gonna come for your things. That's the law. Since when is like following a legal system like a debt trap? Only when it's China according to idiots who write dumb things about China. Okay, but I mean, this is gonna be another video because, like, there's like a lot of articles and, you know, a lot of idiots who write <laughs> this dumb shit. I mean, are they sponsored by, like, the CIA? Just asking. <clears throat> uh, creating revolutions everywhere around the planet. Uh yes. Yes. I mean it's just dumb. Like it's it's just it's just it's just not logical. It's not logical, it's just stupid. The next thing we're gonna talk about is ghost cities. That was like a, a couple of years earlier, but it was like like in every like media outlet about ghost cities, Chinese ghost cities and like Basically, China has built, like, more apartments than any other country in the, in the world. And most countries in the world have a, have a too low number of apartments in order to, like, fulfill the need of the population that wants to, you know, uh, live in an apartment, live in a house, and so on. Like, there's a more, there, there's a higher demand for apartments than there's, like, a supply of apartments in most countries but suddenly in China for these idiot but uh, uh, trash journalists that write you know just dumb things about China just you know to smear China badly suddenly when China has too many apartments an excess of apartments which is basically not possible somebody will always buy the apartment if if it's like you know buyable Suddenly, China has ghost cities. China is just you know, negatively b b wasting a lot of resources to build apartments. China is just, you know, uh, creating things for ghosts. And, I mean, ghosts are negative, right? Ghosts are evil, and ghost cities must be evil. And, I mean, I mean just the, the, the choice of words is just psychologically twisted this is just it just there's no reason for this to be a negative thing but like this this trash just because they're like busy screaming no democracy even though democracy in america kills black people i just just busy screaming no democracy in china that like everything must be evil in china or negative that like having access to apartments in China for the population is a good thing. It's not it's it's not a bad thing. Like there are no ghost cities. Like there are like an, if there is an excess of apartments, it, then that means that the lo the prices of apartments become lower and more people have access to the apartments. Like I mean Oh my god, like it's just it's just idiotic. This fucking idiots write negative things about China for like no reason. Except for their their racists or dumb. Or sponsored by evil people. <clears throat> now, uh, okay, the third thing about this constant negative smear uh, campaign against China, I really want to know where the the funding against this uh, for funding for this comes from. Like, what is what what is it? Like, it's just it's just too big to be like organic. The third thing that has been like a smear against China for like uh, decades, decades and decades, is a one-child policy. And this is first a problem of uh, context, you know, a lies by omission. The one-child policy came from America. 
the one child policy in China did not come from China. It came from America. Like China was poor, like, you know, a couple of decades earlier, China was poor. And so politicians, leaders in America sent people to China. I assume to like for China to like get some kind of like financial support to like develop the country. And these American leaders and politicians told Chinese leaders to uh, control the population growth because China's population was like very large, like very large. And uh, they basically told Chinese people to like implement a population control mechanism. And that was that became the one child policy. So like whenever like these idiot reporters write uh, the one child policy is so negative, it's oppressive, it's uh, it's uh, hurts people's freedoms and abortions and so on and so on. They need to mention that the one child policy in China came from America. So if the one child policy is evil, it came from evil in America. Like. Like, 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 that's the truth. And I mean, there's been like hundreds of thousands of uh, articles, I assume, that smear China because of the uh, one child policy, but they don't mention that it came from Amer America. They, they don't mention it. Like, they don't mention it. Honestly, I don't have any emotions about about uh, if it's a good or bad thing to only have one child. But I mean, honestly, who wants a lot of children? Like, I mean, uh, who wants that? <clears throat> so I'm, I mean, I, uh, I, don't, I don't know. But uh, smearing China for a policy that came from America, that's, uh, that's twisted that's dishonest, that's uh, lies by omission, and uh, I mean, I don't think journalists uh, are allowed to do that. I don't think they're allowed to do that. Not, you know, honest or, you know, professional journalists who went to school for journalism. But somehow when it comes to China, you can just, you know, omit some facts, relevant facts, like why and where did the problem come from. Just so you know, you know, show China in a negative light, you know, just push it in the negative box. I mean, this smear campaign, this hysteria, this attempt of hysteria against, you know, China, it's very it's systematic, but it's also beyond logic, it's beyond intelligence, it's beyond normal discussion, it's just trash. It's so, just trash. The desperation to make China look bad and negative is just has gone like they can't win. Uh, it, it's not possible to win with logic or intelligence or uh, normal discussion that these idiots have gone into the trash and, you know, try to like, you know, make China look bad by lying and writing trash about China. That's like. I mean, it's not okay, it's not okay, like, it's not okay, like, focus on, like, real problems, like, black people, George Floyd getting kneeled in the throat until he died on the street, uh, that's a one out of, like, I, I assume thousands that, like, just die in America every day, I mean, not every day, every week, every month, I don't know, black people dying on the street in America, like, focus on that instead, like, that's, like, pure human suffering, like, and pure human suffering, pure evil, instead of, like, calling China evil when there is no reason for it to be evil, or no reason, there, there, China is not evil, it doesn't murder black people for fun, or racism, like, I mean, ugh. okay, and I mean, like, obviously I have a lot of things to say about this, but let's put in another video. <coughs> Now, the fourth uh, smear campaign, I mean, it's more of a smear campaign than like it's based on any facts, is the Chinese Uyghur, the Chinese, so, uh, Chinese um, sub no, subpopulation. There are a lot of like different people in China that are all Chinese people, 
and Uyghurs are one of these people, and so they're all Chinese. They're all Chinese. Anyway, uh, okay. First of all, there's a this is a problem of confirmation bias. This whole this whole systematic campaign to like make China look bad in media in the oligopol media of America, like combined with another thing. Has you know created this constant negative feeling based on you know trash information and like distortions against China that it just that people do, that somehow it's easy like for you know readers and you know I don't know other journalists or I don't know thinkers to like confirm a negative bias against China that oh there's a situation there's, there's maybe something happening with the Chinese Uyghurs that I mean oh, obviously it must be true like the most evil option is the true option when it comes to China like no China doesn't kill the China doesn't kill black people it's not it's not an evil system like that but I mean like people like are basically like convinced that like oh China must be evil like it was evil but I mean when you look into this uh, situation it's basically third person accounts stories about like somebody knew a cousin or a husband had a brother had a nephew uh, that you know experienced uh, you know jail time in China or an abortion and so on but listen the abortion issue, the one-child policy, affects all Chinese people. Well, I mean, it wasn't a, a one-child policy. Uh, I guess it's a two-child policy now. So, I mean, like... Like, the abortion thing happens to all Chinese people. Like, it's not like just Chinese Uyghurs. So, that's one. And then this whole third-person account, like, somebody heard something about some nephew or a cousin or whatever. And then... Uh, and then somebody sold that story to Reuters, and Reuters just spread that to the oligopoly media in America. And then it just became like, you know, rumors became, tre became treated as facts. And then somehow, at some point, a hundred or a thousand or nobody knows, a million Uyghurs were suddenly in jail. And it mean like, what? The thing is that there's a confirmation bias against China in the story, and also we don't have facts. And suddenly there's a million Uyghurs jailed? How did somebody see one million Uyghurs in jail? Like, what, 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 what facts is that based on? There's some kind of bullshit your method of like uh, prediction when it comes to like a mathematics I assume where you know if you <laughs> anyway like this is some kind of like statistical method of like you know taking some uh, taking uh, taking a sample and then you know somehow uh, expanding theoretically the sample to see how many you know occurrences it, uh, hap happened uh, in like, you know, I don't know, whatever, uh, that, you know, like, basically there are no facts. And whatever there is, rumors and, like, you know, third people, th third person accounts of this has somehow been extrapolated to be a million Uyghurs in jail that are, you know, all being used as slave, tra sl slave uh, labor. And uh, women get abortions ev everywhere there, and it's like... Where are the facts? I mean, like, I don't want Chinese people to suffer anywhere, and Uyghur are Chinese. So, uh, if these rumors are true that they're suffering, then I want it to stop. Because, like, there are, like, other ways of, you know, you know, improving a society than to, you know, put people in jail, like in America. 